So you can see from this angle some of the stuff I ground off. Probably doing some more of that today. But what Alex is working on right now is from the leftover plate that we used to cut off. Let me get the sun out of there. So the left two corners, we're going to use that to fill up the sides. Because they're going to be triangular pieces. So he's going to chop those babies up. And then we'll try to get them fit in there. And then we will get that inner piece ready to go. Ground, cut to size, beveled. Yeah, this thing is well on its way to being done. Take a look at what was done over here. The first yeah. try. Yeah, first try. <laughs> and looked a little bit better the second time around. Oh, my, my math. Of my eyeballing was correct. That feels nice. It's a little bit of warmth. <laughs> Whew. Warming up your shoes? right in the middle because then I can't put the space in the middle. Close we get right now. So now we're gonna fit a piece of cardboard right there and right there and cut it out of that piece. There's a cardboard version of the side piece, for those of you who doubted us. Just went straight from there to there, have the insulation. It's, uh, yeah. I think it looks good. But I am biased. There's the second side. You see, this is the corner that we had to shave down a little bit, so I'm probably just going to put a piece flat on the end there. But this will be the, the hole, and we're probably going to take some out of the top, too. It's like a little bigger than that. That's about what it looks like. And it's a little chilly out again. But why not start a fire? Fire wasn't working out too well on its own. So we figured we'd give it a hand. Two by two 
right up front here, right down there, to get the space correctly. And then you can see the grind marks that that piece of be welded into. And then over here, those are the side two pieces. There it is outside of the outer box. I say it reminds me of a fish's mouth. No fish were catching. No fish. And then we were debating on uh, if we wanted to cut into the top. And our final answer is we're not going to. So I hope we're not making a huge mistake. I guess we could always cut it off later. It's just more work. But I think the hole is big enough. I'm sure there's calculators online to tell us how big it needs to be, but we haven't used a calculator yet. Why start now? Why start now? So Alex is gonna weld all that stuff up and make a couple corners. I'm gonna jump on the, the grinder and make that thing all up pretty again. It is a new day. You can see what we did last night. It was pretty dark when we stopped, but I have that ground almost all the way. A little sliver left on the bottom side there. Alex did a lot of a lot of welding last night. The external was all welded up. there and on the other side now this morning he's going to do the inside of it he did also just cut off that corner so it looks a little more streamlined and then what i'll be working on today is in the big big one so i'm going to see if i can somehow cut that and peel it off at least on the bottom, maybe on the sides. There's one down the end, one here, there's one over there, but I won't be touching that one, hopefully. And it's all cleaned out if you ever wonder how much dust and rust and stuff was in one of these. It's that much. That's quite a bit. Right 
that, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get in and out of there. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. $3.99. There's a few pieces that I cut out. There is a second one, which is real frustrating because I couldn't see a darn thing. So what I'm going to do now is cut the top and bottom line there. I'll just cut, cut this bottom line because that'll fall off right there. And then that side, and I'll do the same thing. One, two, three. Alex has this all filled in. We still cover up some welds. This side's done, right? This bad boy is fully welded, inside and out. Let's see, from that angle, I'll show you this side. Looks pretty good. So that's pretty much good to go. And then these are all cut in there. That side and that side. Right there. And those two. And then now I need to be ground. Oh, and the one on the bottom. They each have that little lip. Where is it? Right there. So we'll probably one of us get on that. And then the other one start forming together the grates and all the angle iron. It's a little later in the morning. I just got back. I was up buying a few items. Alex has been out here working, keeping us warm with the fire. Got some grates cut. There's one of our three uh, pieces that we'll have going in the middle. And then, uh, so we'll have two more of those and the two end pieces. It'll be a little bit different shape for the, the domedness. Is that a word? <laughs> Need it up. And then what I was going up to get is this guy right there. Seven inch grinder. Because our other one, uh, that one, it struggles. It's about time we upgraded. So that one's going to be the big brother of that. Which I'll probably use this one more now. Uh, and then let Alex use a heavy one because that thing is not small. Also got some extra uh, grinding disc, cutting disc. Some gloves. And then I did get a can of spray paint to test out how this will be looking. It's black, made for like grills and stuff. So I'll probably end up painting over this piece, or one of these pieces, maybe that blue one. Just see how it looks before I invest in a bunch of cans and plan on doing that. So today, um, hopefully get these grates done. We should have our insulation being delivered today so we can get back working on the firebox. God, time is time is running short these days, so I'll be working a lot. And I have a GoPro coming, so hopefully that makes our camera work a little bit better. Slight change of plans. So we had these four foot by 41 inch grates all ready to go. The issue was they don't fit 
very well through the door. So, what that means for us is we're going to cut these babies in half. And just have two successions. That'll fit much easier in there. The only thing is we're just going to have to use up some of the angle that we're using, planning on using for the for the back and the front of the grate to hold them up and just kind of section it off. We shouldn't make, it, make much of a difference. Just a little more work. So that's what we're going to work on. continues to snow and we continue to work. So Alex is going to be rolling up all the frames for the uh, grates right there. There's six of them. He tacked together. He's just going to finish this rolling road and grind them clean. And then I'm going to be trimming these down. Those are the grates themselves. They're a little bit too wide. As far as the tank, I ground the, uh, the line for the grates to go, and then on this side, I drew the line as well. Spent a lot of time in the tank. stopped. Decent amount out here. Decent amount. Got a little snow on the canopy. I can tell you what. There's no snow in here. There's one of them all done. You can see the back side. I will put the nose in there. But it's pretty nice. It's not like it. the grates are done so there's a couple of them there one sitting over there and then I'm working on this one so what I'm doing is down here all those welds have to get 
remove the slag. Remove the slag, which involves hammer, a little toothbrush thing, and the wire wheel. If you ever think about stick welding, uh, expanded metal, don't. <laughs> There's some of these that are just that aren't connected. I found another one somewhere, but it's uh, yeah, it's not not terrible, just very time consuming. So there's that. Probably now what'll happen is I'll keep working on these. This is my second one, so then I have four left. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of pop like that. So I'll be working on those and Alex will probably work on getting the, whatever is, I don't know what they're called, the brackets to hold up the grates in there. Oh, and also yesterday we got those boxes right there. Don't mind the garage. The three insulators for the firebox. So pretty soon this thing is going to be in there. If you were wondering, this job is terrible. I hate it. I have two and a half left. My back is done. I'm almost there. What Alex has been working on over here are the end piece grates. They're going to be trapezoids. How did you fill those in? Oh, I just threw them with some extra pieces. They look spot on the math is definitely off <laughs> it's supposed to be at nine and a half inches from here to here what's it at ten and a half and it's short but a half an inch shorter than i wanted I wanted at 18 and it's at well a quarter inch that's not too bad that's supposed to go right over here But we're going to keep working on this, not the most exciting thing to watch. Hot off the press. Right there. The end piece of the glove on. Or one of them, I would say. Put it back in there because I'm going to try to get the uh, other side figured out. Not an easy task, but hopefully that might be the last time. But this is the first time we put it in since it's all welded up. We're off center a little bit. Because all we have left with this thing is that little bit of paint. I'll work on the front and freeze up some space back there. Well, we got some good news and we got some bad news. We'll start with, with the not so good news. Uh, we have our, the great, I don't even know what to call these, the rails, whatever you call them. They're in. Since we, we made more of the two foot instead of the four foot, so we had a little bit less. So 
we just went in one foot sections instead of the solid rail. Anyway, how we did it, long story short, it's just a little too high. So I made the line where I wanted the grate. And then when we welded them in, I drew the line and no one thought anything of it. And then we welded it with the bottom here at the grate, at the line. And then the grate sits on top of that. So it's like, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half high. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is, these are just tacked in. So we're going to take those out, run up to Kramer Steel tomorrow, pick up a couple full 13 footers to put in the front and the back. And then that will uh, fix that. Well, we'll do that and then we'll lower it an inch or so. So then the grade will be hopefully a little bit you know, close to the middle of the smokestack exhaust part. Um, so the good news is we talked to Brian who's going to help us lift this thing onto the trailer. And he says he thinks we can do it all together. Meaning we can put the... Uh, the big guy on the bigger guy so that means we can just get this all ready to go we're working on the front of it right now all this cardboard is the uh, mock-ups of what's going to be cut over here um, so we'll get this ready hopefully get it welded on there soon he's leaving for like next week within a few days so we got to get this going um, so hopefully over the next couple days this thing will be on the trailer which we haven't seen much of recently and this is our fancy snow removal technique from the tarp. Because this is not rated for snow. It's, it's like, that's what it looks like. It looks like more than it actually Yeah, it definitely does. Alex was cutting the last piece for the night, which is the bottom part. What we're working on today is, or this morning, get this thing, the front of that, all ready and welded in, at least tacked in. Then later today, one of us will go up and pick up some, uh, the railing for the, the shelves, grates. First time grinding with the big, the big seven incher. Seems to, uh, to do the trick. Alex is off picking up the metal. I've been grinding this a little bit more. What I'm thinking about right now is just taking the, the floppy wheel and cleaning out the inside of this so it looks like those lines. It's going to take a long time. Alex doesn't think that we need to do it. But I don't know. I feel like it would be better. Because that's just a lot of rust and propane stuff in there. I might just do it. It'll take some time, but I think I'll be happy, happier once it's done. I've been at it for a while. That's where I'm at. It, uh, it does take some time and a lot of work. So I have that done and that to go. Oh boy. But I'll be working on that while Alex welds and stuff. So, hopefully, not too, too long. Tell you what, I don't think we could have made these grates any bigger. Yeah, these, these look nice. So, check it out. The end pieces are in there, like swimwear. So, that is where. The grates are going to be. Let's get some light. And that's the side that's cleaned out in there, too. But it looks good. It looks like a cooker. That's a good stopping point tonight. It's after 7. Alright.
until next time. <laughs>